going on bro, it's Games are back. So I'm going to be doing a new series where I have to win a, an online game with each MLB team. So th uh, 30, I don't honestly don't even know how many teams there are exactly, but somewhere around there. So yeah, start off with the, let me see. Let's just do AL, let's just do what they say, AL East. So let's start off with the Baltimore Orioles. Now I'm going to pitch Dylan Bundy. Yeah, let's get it done. Baltimore, let's go, let's do normal. Oh, hitting difficulty, any, guess pitch, I want off, quick counts on, that's good. All right. So yeah, I'm going to sign out now, uh, I'll show you guys the highlights of the game, and I'll see you guys in a little bit, peace. Yeah, so this is going to be a new series I'm putting up on MLB 16 the show. I know 2K comes out next week. You know, you can play my career, so don't expect any really MLB content. In general, the game's been good. I like what they've done, but it's just same as always. It's not enough. It gets old. I've been very disappointed with Cat, uh, Cat, not Cat Daddy, um, Daddy Games on their updates. Just It feels like, you know, they they just don't update enough. I'm not just talking about Red Sox. That's really all I look forward to is the Red Sox upgrades. I'm just saying in general that... Games like 2K every week, they're just upgrading so many people. And, you know, there's guys in the Red Sox that are still common cards. And there's no way, you know, really anyone on the Red Sox is a common unless it's like Devin or uh, Marrero or someone like that that just hasn't really done anything all season. They're just there, you know, for just to fill up the bench. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't really like the, up, um, you know, the roster updates. Uh, Friday mornings, you know, it just it's once a week. You know, I just look so forward to them. And then to win another week. And, you know, I invested all my stubs in Red Sox players. So, you know, I'm just another week. I have to wait until I can buy an actual good team. I haven't had an actual good team, you know, really at all this year. Besides at one point. But then I uh, just uh, gave them all away to buy packs and stuff like that. I didn't get anybody. So, yeah. But in terms of this actual uh, series and I'm doing right now what i like like i said before i have to win a game with every team and uh, i guess if i don't win then i don't win because i don't really want to replay it so hopefully i can win every game this game right here i am going against Ari dickey who's really hard to hit off of i mean you know it's just is if you can change up his pitches you know how to use them he's really overpowering so whether it's you know cy young dickey or just normal dickey so um yeah i got a you know the orioles pitcher you know he's new he, uh Dylan Bundy, I forgot his name for a sec. So yeah, Dylan Bundy, really, he just came up recently. He's been pitching really well. Got the win yesterday, and that's how I knew about him. I knew about him, like, when he pitched against the Red Sox a couple weeks ago, but, you know, I just wanted to pick him because he, you know, I wouldn't be against, like, an ace, but, you know, I wouldn't be against someone, like, overpowered, but unfortunately I was. Um, and Dickey, you know, normally you sh in the fifth inning is when you should start picking him up, but I just really could not pick him up at all. And it was because, you know, I'm, I'm, like, a not really a patient hitter in the game or in real life, so... Yeah, that's, just, that's that's why I struggle against Dickey, but, you know, right here, Bundy is just cruising along. It's not like this guy's r really, I mean, I don't want to really, really, like, say he's not good, because I don't really think he is good, but it's just a guy that, you know, I should be scoring runs off of, whether he has Dickey or not. But, unfortunately, you know, it's fifth inning, you know, we'll see what happens here. And right here is a call I need to get. If I'm pitching a game like this, you cannot give up a complete game like that. I'm throwing a no-hitter, by the way. And right here, I said to set that up, down low, middle in, see you later. That was not my fault, but I technically was because I should have went to my bullpen, I guess, or did a mound visit, but yeah, so that pitch misses, and then nasty curve right here gets him going. Um, he checked, one around. So yeah, sixth inning, I, you know, I'm like, I need to start taking more pitches. I'm going to let that one go. Um, I did start down like one, two, let three pitches go, so um, yeah, right here, J.J. Hardy, you know, covering low, and it goes right there in my zone. You know, Hardy does cover a lot of the plate, so there, and then I um, hold there. And it did skip around to me, so this might look a little weird, but runner on second first. Uh, yeah, he goes to, th oh no, this is right, okay. Adam Jones, so now I have the bases loaded, no outs, and of course he blows a high fastball past me. Um, yeah, he was doing that all game, and then right here, Manny Machado, that should not, that should go at least to the right field to, you know, score a run, but it doesn't, so. And then I try to, like, tag up here, see if he's paying attention, he is, obviously, he throws to for home. And it comes down to Chris Davis, you know, I'm just down 0-2 immediately off the bat. I fell two pitches off that are low. Another one. All oh, that's gonna be three two right now. I let this one go. Right here, you know, I let another one go. It's so hard harder than you guys think to let that go. And then right here I just ground into it. So base is loaded, no outs, I don't score a run. And then play drive rest, you know, the next inning, you know, I'm able to get something going. First to third on testing the arm of Pilar. If he threw that right away I would have been out, but he hesitated, so yeah, once again with um just one out I have a runner on third and second. I bring in uh Steve Pierce from the Rays. Who actually didn't want to? He didn't want to be traded, but they did anyway. 
which is kind of disappointing, I guess, for the Rays fans and him. But I try to do a little suicide squeeze. He doesn't even know. He just covers the plate, so I go back. And then now, I, now that I did that, he's not gonna throw any strikes. So you know, I'm just keep I'm keeping that in mind. And what does he do first? He throws one inside, just misses. I wasn't planning on swinging anyway, but right here, you know, now I gotta look for something. So let's see. You know, I, I was low too. Should have let that one go. But it, see, it started, you know, in the strike zone basically. So it's a good pitch. Uh, the 2-2, two -two, uh, check swing, almost, that could have caught the corner, but, you know, if mine didn't, the Russell Martin, that shouldn't, and um, I just, in general, I struggle with hitting, uh, my pitching is good, you can give me any pitcher, I could do make something work, and then right here, I go back, he actually goes to first, so I see that, Jonathan Scope, good enough speed, he's going to score, and then not a good throw, so. The lead. Trey Turner just won, and, and then J.J. Hardy, you know, I just, I'm guessing fastball all the way, and then I guess sinkers, so, or uh, curveball actually I don't even know and then right here I thought that should have been a home run Mark Trumbo has the best power in the game right now 41 home runs but um now I, I ground out basically to end the game so and then um, next I move on to the Red Sox I figured if I don't win I just move on see my percentage and then right here the Red Sox I know how to use them my batting order was messed up and then JBJ gunned down at home somehow he was going and um yeah, the rookie Max Kepler is going to gun him down. So, And then right here, he's just mad. He actually had three errors in this game, so he was just throwing at me. Um, you see, if you're wondering how Mookie got out, I got picked off, which was stupid AF. But, um, yeah, Xander Bogarts, uh, you know, uh, one of my favorite players, probably my second favorite first player. I don't know. I like Yohan Makati. He's probably my favorite. but Or I guess Bogarts, but I don't even know. And then, yeah, he's just going to throw another one over. He's just not good. Um kind of frustrating. I don't know what difficulty this is. And then he's going to obviously quit. I knew it, so I just went home. He was quitting. And then lost connection. There we go. So, uh, thanks. Yeah, so if you want me to continue the series, let me know down below. If I don't get a lot of support, I'm not going to keep it going because, you know, it is kind of a lot of work to play all these games online. They are long and just other stuff that, I mean, I'm not going to really complain. I do like this game and I'm on doing it. I will if it gets the support. Um, yeah, like, I mean, like, you know, Probably like 40, 50 views is what I, I will continue a series on the first video. So yeah, if you enjoy this, um, the next will be the Blue Jays, I guess, and then the Yankees Rays or some, I don't know if that's the right order, but something like that, obviously Aliens. So yeah, unfortunately I couldn't win as the Orioles, I did win as the Red Sox, so 